This is Twit. Mobile World Congress phone announcement has got my uh, my interest for multiple reasons. A uh, company by the name of Unihertz, yeah. great name. Um, mm. eh, they might have a little uh, envy of our good friends over at Nothing because uh, they showed off their new advice at Mobile World Congress. The Unihertz Luna, which, by the way, is my daughter's name. Not Unihertz, but Luna. Uh, so I was like, oh, <laughs> That's nice. a great name for uh, this, Yeah, this could be her first phone. Uh, but Unihertz <laughs> Luna. I named, I named her Unihertz. I didn't, you know, it was just inspiring. No. Um, uh, so the Unihertz Luna has LEDs on the back that look very similar to the Nothing Phone 1. Uh, in fact... They got the attention of uh, Nothing CEO Carl Pei, who went over to their booth and took a picture of him holding both phones side by side, <laughs> which is, I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty good marketing right there for Unihertz. Um, Unihertz, though, is positioning the phone at a lesser price point. In fact, no more than $300, according to the company. Uh, it's running a MediaTek Helio G99 uh, system on a chip. It includes 8 gig of RAM and 256 gig of UFS 2.2 flash storage and is scheduled to launch sometime this month. So for $300, you could have a entry level uh, phone or, or, you know, lower, you know, mid tier, lower mid tier phone with really cool LEDs on the back. Oh, so, so we've talked about Unihertz before. Do you remember back in 2017, the Jelly? I do. Do you yeah. remember the Unihertz yeah. Jelly? Yeah. I think I I have it somewhere. I think I might even have it in the office. I wish I had thought to to bring it out because it was the like I mean it's probably like that big. It's the tiny tiny little smartphone. It was smart, you know, tiny yeah. Android phone. Throw a SIM in it. I mean, the thing is literally it's like that big. It's so small. Anyways, yep. so they do they do interesting things. I think a lot of times in the past they've done them uh, via Kickstarter. I won, you know, as like a kind of a launch plan or whatever, kind of a promotional thing. So uh, maybe they've graduated from needing to do that at this point. They've been around long enough. But three hundred dollars yeah. for the Luna. I mean, it looks like a. I mean, it's a pretty stylish looking phone. Mm-hmm. If you like color, your LEDs, it's a great name. Color it's LEDs. Name. Mm. Color LED. Yes, not just white. Yeah. These LEDs. I mean, what's the the color is nice. I mean, with this phone and with nothing and with all the LED stuff, like I know we joke about ROG and the gamer phones and like gamer cases, but like it's coming, everybody. It's like this like level of flair on the phones is definitely uh, on the horizon. I think in a year from now, lots of phones are going to have these little accoutrements to brighten up your phone on the outside, whether for good or for bad. <laughs> As a person who, when they last built a PC, just threw in all the LEDs, LED RG, or LED RAM, LED board, LED like extra LEDs in the case, I'm okay you're, with that. You're an LED fan. I like I, I have LED fans as well. Actually. Oh, okay. I got yes. There were LED, LED cases. Not quite what I meant, but okay. Yeah. I'm an LED fan fan. Mm. Yes, I'm yes. a fan of LED fans. Yeah. Um, well. Yeah, and this this device, by the way, has a three point five millimeter headphone jack. Just saying, some of you out there are still like grasping at that that straw. So there you go. It does not have five G. It looks like it's just two G, three G, and four G. Thank God. It has I mean, 2G. for three hundred dollars, what do you expect? Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, so. there there are devices that are pretty inexpensive look that are those, look at those lights. But that's what you're getting. What you're getting is that. That swirly circle. I want to know what that in the back and the lights. What? Yeah. What is that circle in the middle? What? What is that? Yeah. It kind of looks that like their branding or yeah. Kind of just I looks was like thinking the maybe it was like a wireless charging, but not for three hundred bucks. That would be a pretty special. Oh, have like a magnet. Also, thing. Yeah, 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 thing to I, have. I like if we look at the if we look at the Unihertz website. I will give them credit. Um, for promoting their new phone and it says uh luna embrace the light in your life it's very like motivational yeah. message they also too. have a phone called they also have a phone they, they also have a phone called the tiktok s but it's not spelled like tiktok it's t-i-c-k-t-o-c-k -C -C like uh, oh dear i like this company Unihertz TikTok. I like this company Ooh, they have a yes. the titan pocket they have a, a physical keyboard phone Yes, they do. The Titan. I remember Hold that a couple phone. of years ago. They had the physical keyboard. Uh, yeah. The TikTok S dual screen 5G slim rugged smartphone. Oh, it's got all the 
It's got all the the the. Oh, it's uh, rugged. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, it's rugged. It's dual <laughs> screen. <laughs> oh, what does it? Be- I like oh, the, wait. The, the, what the is tag going line, on? The tagline also. The the tagline also is TikTok s not just 5G, better 5G. Ooh. <laughs> wait. How do is you it called TikTok because there's a watch on the case? Wait, there's a watch oh, face on the yes. case. Yes. There's a watch is face. Is that it? Room. Like so that's Oh my so god, like they make That's so That's so weird. I like this company. They make they, they make a phone called the Tank, which is the largest battery 4G rugged smartphone with a 22,000 milliamp battery. Wait, what? <laughs> It's called the. Wait, it's called many? the tank. I love what? that. Twenty two, twenty two thousand. It's only three hundred sixty nine dollars. This is my next phone. Damn. Yeah, it's on sale right now. Buy it now and save seven or thirty dollars. Tank, like. a versatile, a, a versatile the? rugged outdoor smartphone. Okay, how fat <laughs> is this phone? It's uh, it's. Oh. I mean, this is a chonker. A, yeah, it's a chonker. Yeah, it's it's got a chubby butt. <laughs> it's got a it's it's got a bright flashlight on the back of it. This this phone's sporting a, a butt enhancer it's got a, filter. It's got a plump it's got a plump butt. That's yep. not for a shadowing Ooh. for later. Oh my god, look at this. It's got it says it says mighty battery, kill your battery anxiety. It takes one point <laughs> eight hours to get up to ninety percent charging, hundred and fifty hours call phone call time, two thousand three hundred and eighty hours standby time. <laughs> wow. What on uh, earth? <clears throat> wow. You can charge other devices with it. it has a bright flashlight on the back. That ba- <laughs> the back panel yeah. of the tank has a huge like it's just LED panel. It's like a panel of LED that's for a flashlight. So it's not a tiny little you know dot to, to shine. I, I like how you can hear it's just so conceptual. Like they take a concept Here, it's in the and they run there. with it. Like they they take they t- they they're like Forrest Gump running like running across country. They're like, hey, you want nothing lights? There. Oh. Wait. Oh, what is? <laughs> what was that? All right. Sorry, I didn't mean to go website. down a, a Unihertz rabbit hole. But no, there this we is, are. This yeah. fascinating. This is, this, this is awesome. Look at yeah, that. Yeah. Look at look at that LED panel. It's just like. Pshh. Can you imagine how bright that gets? I mean, you, and you've got the battery to drive it, so you know, it doesn't matter how bright That's it gets. Crazy. It's not going to run down your battery. Twenty two hundred milliamp hours. That's crazy. There you go. That'll that'll like light up the room basically. Yeah, I I I'm stunned. <laughs> I don't, Good wow. going, Unihertz. Good on you. Right. Yeah, yeah Unihertz. Yeah. You want to hear about the latest news happening in the tech world from the people who write the articles? Sometimes from the people who are actually making the news. Well, we got a show for you here at Twit.tv. It's called Tech News Weekly. Me, Jason Howell, and my co-host, Micah Sargent, we talk with some amazing people each and every Thursday on Tech News Weekly. And we share a little bit of our own insights in each of us bringing a story of the week. That's at Twit.tv slash TNW. Subscribe right now.